Well, I'm sitting here in my Sunday finest, getting ready to work on this bulldog uh, here behind me. And what we have at this point is a two pound styrofoam uh, foam. And inside of this, we have a uh, two inch square stainless steel tubing armature built within um, to give it some real, um, you know, substantial strength as I work on this and I take it through the, the rigors uh, fabricating this entire model out. What I've been doing, as you can tell, um, is my weapons of choice are uh, electric chainsaw and different types of round and flat cutters um, so that once I trim this down, it trims it, you can trim it down a whole lot quicker using these things, um, but it gets all over the place. Um, you'll have these pellets stuck all over you. Um, I use a vacuum cleaner to, to, uh, to get them up, to blow them off me and then to get them up from the work site. Um, on a nice day, I pull them outside like this on a ramp so I can get up underneath of the piece easier. Uh, if it's if I'm inside, I will uh, use a series of cables and stuff, and I will actually lay this piece over so that I can work on it. Because uh, I don't like I'm not as young as I used to be. I don't like crawling underneath um, a piece like this. It gets a little bit tight. But I'll show you something now. And when you're using these things, use extreme caution. This is electric chainsaw, but it's still very dangerous. Um, Make sure you pay attention to where you're walking and your hand placement and everything. A lot of times I use gloves. I'm not going to use them right now. But what I'm working on right now is, sh is I'm trying to shape these legs down exactly where I want them, particularly the paw area. And I'm just taking off some excess uh, material here so that... Uh, I can get it more of where I want it. It's not exactly in the position that I want it right now. Um, I like making these a little bit bigger so I can cut them down. So um, I'll let you hear this just very briefly. The more the wind blows, the more this stuff blows around. But I'll take a, a combination of these round stainless steel cutters and these rasps like this that are wood. You actually can use them for wood, fiberglass, different things. And the combination of these things can get this rough look back down to the smooth look if that's what you're looking for before you put clay or wax over it or whatever you're you're doing. So we just take this going to get it a little bit smoother.
that down. We're here on these little valleys like this that you can't reach with the flat. suggest you, you get your stuff blown off pretty good or the uh, your significant other may run you back outside but as you can tell this smooths this down pretty good and you start seeing the smoothness in it and I can go back in here and cut details but this is just a short little demonstration to show you what I'm doing um, this piece is um, it's almost six foot tall and it's almost eight foot long. Five foot between the outside of the shoulders. So, this is going to be a big bulldog. Hope you enjoyed it.